And we are back. Back with another episode of New World, the uh, MMO from Amazon, and uh, yeah. We're just playing a little and I got my big frickin' hammer. Don't mind what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, so I would leave off here. Got some melee weapons. More health. I like health. Oh, I got points in Warhammer. Let's see. What was I going to do? Um, siege damage? No, I probably don't need that yet. That's. That's. Increase armor. Might be an idea. Ooh, I kind of want that, not going to lie. So I still I can block. Hmm. Kind of want that, but I think we'll go with this. Considering I have a shield, so. Alright, uh, open the map. I open the map. There's war. There's that. There's the watchtower. Talk to Magistrate Clark. Oh, he's way the F out there. Okay. Let's see, I'll do a little auto run. At least you can still run when you open the map, that's kind of cool. I don't know where I'm going. Um, that's a lot of rocks, so I guess they're kind of forcing me to go the right... Go this way, I should say, not the right way. So far, liking the graphics. It's a little, little choppy, but it's to be expected with a, a pre-beta game. Where well, I don't know if this is beta. This is a preview, so we'll go with that. Right, so I go all the way there. <clears throat> it's a settlement. Probably watch where I'm going. So far, Who's that? It's a brush turkey. Hi, brush turkey. But what? Hey, where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? Put that away. Yeah. Ooh, starry night. Cool. More turkey. That is an obelisk or just a big rock. 
Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely not natural, so it's kind of neat. Come here, Tucky! Turkey down. Poultry. Oh, look at this. Nice little camp for me to hang out. So I have. I only have. Well, I can only make one. That looks delicious. Alright, so. Oh, okay. Different tiers. I need different stuff. Cool. Alright, well. Now I know I can make different things. I'm sure you get, you know, maybe you get fire other campfires over like two feet. <laughs> Oh man. So is that plan mark? Or. It's a lot of. a lot of camps here. I don't know if these are like player made camps or what. They are everywhere. Ooh, can I pick that up? Yellow fungus. Hell yeah. I don't know. If... I guess that's fungus. It's... It doesn't really look like a fungus to me, but you know. What do I know? What are you? Chalky rabbit. Cool. Oh, that's neat. Give up. Oh, okay, so it's owned by a guild, I assume? Oh, it's only 2,500. Let's see how much do I have. 192. Um really close all right <laughs> it's probably gonna take me a little bit longer to uh to get that um wonder did i just can't go to go around apparently Yar, there he is. That's this is Commander Chow Han. That was not them. <laughs> that was a player. Alright, well remember it's going the long way, it's fine. It's fine. Get to experience all there is of this nice city. Not quite sure if uh Probably need to look into it a little bit more if you know players can or guilds can occupy towns and whatnot. Hello and welcome. I'm Magistrate Clark, the man who makes sure everyone that ever falls settlement is running smoothly though well. Mostly paperwork. I haven't seen your face around this fine settlement before, and I certainly have haven't ever seen a box like that. Why is everyone staring at my box, man? Uh, somebody around here may be able to help you open it. Okay. <laughs> but first things first. What's this? A writ from Watcher Reefs? You assisted him in driving the drowned? Driving back the drowned? Then? This is wondrous news. Though it is curious that the drowned were collecting Azoth in the first place. Uh, could they be evolving into something more like the corrupted? Either way, we need someone strong like you around here to get things done. All right, standing gold and uh, death. Your pack's getting heavy. 
With the problem you're explaining, you should be Trader Tucket. They're most, the most honest. Wait. They, oh. Wow. Hello. They are the most honest merchants you'll find on this island, and they'll tell you how to get your start buying and selling goods in the, in the Eternium way. Go speak to Tucket. Alright, let's go speak to Tucket. So, I have a... Tier 1? Tier 1. Cool. All kinds of long swords, bunch of stuff. Alright. So... Uh, Alright, just gonna try to talk to uh, Trader Tucket. He's right over there. Who's this guy? Oh, duh. This guy I just talked to. Whoa. Green Traveler, I'm Trader Tucket of Everfall. And you look like you could use a helping hand in getting used to how trade and Eternium works. A Eternum. Alright, here's the trading post, a place of exchange where goods can be bought or sold through buy or sellers. Make yourself rich off the market if you play the cards right. Me, I just like seeing that everyone gets what they need. Uh, everything from equipment to food can be exchanged for coin here. It's a great place to stock up on ammunition or peddle your wares, so don't bother making any shady trades in the woods where things can be stolen. By wandering bandits when you get to save a turn, isn't it? Okay. I'm a newcomer. Alright, why don't you try making a buy or sell order at least look or at least take a look for what's for sale. Uh, there can be all sorts of treasure in the trading post for those with a keen eye and a sense of economics. Buy low, sell high, all that. I'm not formally studied in the matter, uh, but you needn't be here in a term a land where you Anyone can make a fortune on equal footing. Go to the trading post and see what's been posted. All right. Ooh, is that another bag? Nice. Like. All right, open the trading post. Uh, open the trading post. There. This must be the auction house. All right. So, do I sell anything? Do I have anything to sell? Um, can I sell that? No one wants my stuff. <laughs> Alright, well, I looked. There! Now you've seen what Eternium, Eternium has to offer. Maybe you can throw your hat in the trading ring too? Who knows? What kind of profit you can turn with what your ventures bring in? Your journeys far and wide will take you to settlements similar to this one with economies and traders all their own. I'll be here as always, making sure your transactions go through safely and securely. Alright. Alright, level 8. I seem to have lost my beard and all the shenanigans, so I don't know if that's a glitch or whatnot, but maybe I got got cut off or something by one of the drowned. Uh, on the subject of safety and security, you might be wondering wondering where the safest place to lay your head down is. All settlements have an inn established for this very purpose. The Everfall Inn is run by Inkeep Kamu. Kamu? Yeah. Uh, speak to her to create what I call an Aesop Anchor. We're in. Uh, when you when you find the danger of the wilds become too great, and time of is of the essence, you can quickly recall yourself to her hearth. I recommend that you seek out a storage shed in Everfall. It's always a good idea to lighten your load before venturing back forth into the wilds. All right, travel satchel. Travel section. Nice. Oh, 
choice. And so, salvage. So these are both the same. So, salvage that one. Alright. Is it the end? Where's the end? The end is that way. Alright, and this is a good time to end the video here. If you liked what you saw, hit the little like button down below. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Uh, comment, let me know what you think about the game, what you think about these videos. I'm going to leave these videos a little uh, bare bones, not a lot of editing. So that way you can just enjoy the game and not have to listen to all kinds of goofiness and whatnot. But yeah, so uh, hope you're enjoying it because I am. And uh, thank you all for watching. As always, have a nice day.